Let me see. Maybe you should feel that way about teeth. I do. Trust me, it fucking sucks. Like I, I'm, I'm trying. Yeah, I know. I'm trying. I'm trying to fucking find some goddamn beef jerky. I can't eat any goddamn beef jerky, or, or hair. Yeah, no. I trust me. Okay. No, it it sucks. <laughs> and, and hair. <laughs> Maybe she want more hair. I, 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 instead, I, instead of some mounts. I, I, huh? I, I, you little bitch. Shut up. Okay. Okay, I've got well, I've got one more character. Asmon Gold Mount Run. Okay, just a second. Minimum item all 350. Okay, let's get this run done, and then we're gonna watch the uh, the final two bosses. This is what it's all come down to, guys. These are the final two most difficult bosses in the raid. I am assuming. I I don't really know. I mean, they will be difficult for average groups. For our group, obviously, we will you know won't probably won't even notice. Uh, that we're at that boss by then, but uh, it, it, you know, for for casual players, this will be much more difficult and, and challenging, uh, and so we're gonna see what they uh, what they have to offer. Okay, let's see if we have enough people here. Uh, joined. Okay, 23 people, uh, 24 and 25. Okay, this should be good. Let me assign people to heals, and we'll start this up. Okay, uh, let's see. Um. Okay, one tank. Uh, who's our tank here? Wookie. Uh, Wookie, you're gonna go heals. Just Q his heels. I don't actually even care what you do. Just Q his heels, Wookie. And uh, then we'll have uh, Large Chungus. Yeah, Large Chungus. I want you to Q as a healer, okay? Uh, you don't actually need to heal. You just need to Q as a healer. Okay, let, let's get this done. All right, the roll check is happening. As soon as we get into the group, we'll go ahead and we'll start the next video. Uh, you have more mounts and uh, no, I, I don't know if I have more mounts than hair. I mean, that's pretty hard to say. Uh, at least not yet. Okay, here we go. Hello, guys, and welcome back to Fat Boss TV. Today, we're looking at the penultimate encounter in the Eternal Palace with Zakul Harbinger of Nihilotha. Okay. Yes, this four phase encounter is absolutely awesome with a theme of using different realms in order to counter certain boss mechanics. Okay. The first three phases are pretty short, but gives you experience of all of the realms before needing to use all of them in the long last phase, oh, where everything shit. comes to a chaotic mess. Anyway, let's jump straight into it with the start of the fight. So when you first pull the boss, he'll cover okay. the entire outsides of the room in darkness. If Alrighty. you stand within this area, you take massive ticking damage, so you've got to avoid it. Easy. This is really easy to deal with, aside from when he casts Dread. This debuffs random players in your raid, fearing them until the debuff is dispelled or it expires. Well, that's easy. You However, just... it'll yeah. also explode, dealing massive raid-wide damage. We counter this by using pre-shields and healing cooldowns with a master spell or a tremor totem oh each God. time. But even with stacking cooldowns, it's still pretty dangerous. What Since the Since testing, fuck? this damage does seem to be significantly nerfed in the dungeon journal, so it's probably safe to say that on live, you can just dispel everyone instantly, providing the raiders at full health. Okay. Also to watch out for is the crushing grasp. When cast, this causes a portal to open on one side of the room, which a tentacle will punch through and then slam across the room. You've got a long time to react and move from it, which is important to do so. So that's pretty simple. You just move of out of it. And can knock you back into the darkness yeah. around the edges of the room, which is pretty much an instant death. Okay. As for tanks, you'll want to remain stacked the entire fight because of Mind Tether. The boss will always connect the tank with the nearest player, dealing 50% of the damage the main tank takes to the link player as shadow damage. That's not a if big deal. If the link player is more than 12 yards away, that percentage is increased further. Tanks also need to remain so in the tanks same need realm, to stand on top of each other. Be stunned for 10 Very seconds simple. Each time Mind Tether is applied. These three abilities, so the Dread debuffs, the Tentacles, and the Tank Cleave, okay. are used throughout the entire fight in all phases. Now, not too long into Phase 1, the boss will spawn three Portals of Madness. As they spawn, you need to stay away from them at first, as they'll fear anyone as the Summoner ads appear from them. Okay. Now, these guys will cast Dark Tear, spawning lots of small little Vision ads. These have a 30 Easy. stack debuff that slowly over time drops, at which point they'll evolve into an even stronger mob. So you'll want to kill them off before that happens, which while testing was done with just passive cleave. If the Dark Tear channel from the Summoner ad finishes, the entire raid is burst for a lethal amount of damage, so you want to make sure that you kill these ads off one by one. We move the boss to each just to keep okay. the cleave. You just kill the ads. doing so, it's very likely that the That's boss will simple. reach 85% health and enter phase two and bring the entire raid into the fear realm. Alrighty. Now, whilst you're in this realm, the entire raid gains a stack of hysteria every 15 seconds. This stop okay. deals very little damage and it isn't very noticeable, but it is important for later in the fight. Also in this realm, the boss will cast Maddening Eruption. This creates a large targeting zone, typically on the opposite side of the room. 
Shortly after it appears, it will explode, dealing massive raid-wide damage. Okay. However, if the boss is placed within it before it explodes, the raid damage is removed, and instead the boss will take 30% increased damage for 20 seconds. This happens pretty often, so tanks need to be quick to react and move the boss the moment they spawn. Fucking the bugs. raid to watch out for is Manifest Nightmares. This debuff is applied to two players, dealing a small oh, amount of ticking damage whilst causing the player to spawn patches okay. underneath them. These patches do absolutely insane damage, two shotting people in most cases. So you just have to kite them they away from the raid. That's easy. Almost immediately. Actually, you know what? Got to be spread. That's out. really bad because I can guarantee you some dumbass is going to leave it in the raid. So I, I don't know how we're going to be able to handle that, man. Oh, uh, watch, man. Who gives a shit? Um, l l let's see. Yeah, that that's that's kind of bad. We'll have to make sure people know for sure to move out with the debuff before they're applied. Otherwise, you'll okay. instantly cleave the raid to yep. pieces. There it is. These patches will also spawn vision ads, which again, we passively multi-dot and cleave down. Okay. Once you get the boss to 70% health, phase 3 will begin with the boss casting Delirium's Descent. In Killrock fashion, this will generate three portals in front of him. Oh, if they're left unsoaked, they'll explode dealing large raid-wide damage. When a player soaks the circle, they're taken into the Delirium realm. Inside here, you gain hysteria stacks at an increased rate, and also completely hostile to all other players. Oh, you do, no. however, gain a very large haste increase, allowing you to plow damage into the boss. Oh no! If you ever die whilst you're inside here, you will instead be returned into the fear realm, but you will be oh. stunned for six seconds. So you just this need can, to, however, okay. be dispelled by your healers. So all you need to do in this phase is get your DPS to keep soaking the circles, keep being sent down, yeah, so that's you can do simple. damage into the boss, whilst everyone else just deals with the mechanics from phase two. Right. Now, once you manage to get the boss to fifty percent, so just have health, DPS the go down. That's simple. Woman, lady will drag the entire raid back to the normal realm from phase one. Okay. And she now stands still, keeping open a portal, and this is where this the is final simple. phase begins. In this phase, the boss will continue to have that tank link and the tentacle slam, as Lola's already mentioned, but the dreads have evolved into manic dreads. Oh boy. This makes the debuff players also leave behind patches that explode after a few seconds when they've been dispelled. Okay. Which means, ideally, you want them to be dispelled away from the raid. Okay. So we opted to use manual dispels here instead of AoE ones. Once the patch has finished exploding, players can now stand within them and gain a stacking debuff. At five stacks of this debuff, you'll be sent into the Delirium Realm. This needs to be done because the boss on a timer will cast Dark Pulse. This applies a massive Absorb Shield to himself, and if the shield is not broken in time and the cast finishes, then all players in all realms are hit with a massive oh amount of damage. By having oh players go into the God, Delirium dude. Realm beforehand, this is much easier to break as they have that what massive- What the fuck is this? So you have to assign people to go down there into each different specific realm? The void boss fights like 30. Yeah, this is insane, dude. Yeah, yeah, it's a 24-hour stream. No, on honestly, guys, it's gonna be easy. We're, we're gonna be able to beat this boss like probably on the first try. Uh, I mean, we might have like maybe a little bit more, you know, maybe two or three tries. But yeah. overall, I think this is gonna be a joke fight. Okay, we just okay. assigned the right people to go down. That's it. What were you saying? Huh? I, I don't know. I, I heard you say something. No percent haste increase okay boss testing even on normal mode this felt like a requirement in order to break the shield unless you use something crazy like bloodlust and large dps cooldowns after you have broken the shield and if you're in the delirium realm you can go over to the first arcanist and use an extra action button while standing on her portal this will bring you back to the normal realm now the boss in this phase okay. will also begin to spawn the horrific summoners you saw from phase one okay the only difference here with these guys is that they can only be attacked from the fear realm oh, to access that realm you need to stand on top of their portals and hit your extra action button. wait there's three so realms pretty easy right the boss gains a massive shield you send some people into the delirium realm to break it the ad spawn you send some people down into the fear realm to kill them off before their cast is finished sadly it's not that simple oh when what? players are within the fear realm, the mechanics from phase two and three will be active and only can be seen from within that realm. Yet the damage aspects will hit everyone in all of the realms. So to make that clear, the maddening eruption circles still need to be soaked by the boss oh for it to wipe. And players of the what? manifest nightmares need to make sure that their patches are away from people in other realms or it's a wipe. Oh my God. To make matters worse, the manic dread damage is also applied to all realms. And the damage from this far this is mythic, anything right? else, forcing everyone no, this to be is in the normal. same realm so that they can be affected by shields and healing right. cooldowns so that they're topped quickly after the damage has come in. So this phase requires a shitload of communication, and the room for different strategies what is actually the pretty fuck, high. Man. The way that we were doing it on PTL was just to keep everyone in normal realms whenever possible, especially the tanks, as this just means you'd never really need to worry about the hysteria stacks. DPS and healers would only ever move into the fear realm whenever the ads were up, 
and whilst they were in there they would communicate and place down wall markers for the tanks to move into for okay. each of the maddening eruption circles Okay. As for dark pulse shields, we didn't do anything special apart from sending players down beforehand into the delirium realm just so they can nuke the shield off. And before Manic Dread... Do you think we could just have everybody stay in one realm and it wouldn't matter? Because it'd be normal mode and we can heal through the AoE damage? Hell no. You don't think so? I, I don't know. One? It seems unlikely. No, dude. No, like, yeah, I, I mean, maybe that could be a normal mode strat, but probably not. I mean, you know, hey, guys, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to be an optimist here, okay? That's all I'm trying to do. Uh, I, I wish that was the case. To were applied, everyone would return back to the normal realm by speaking to the Arcanist or using the add portals to be okay. topped back up, but also to let the Hysteria stacks reset. Okay. And after all that's done, the fight just repeats from there until you finally kill him off. We think that this is very likely to be the way that you'll want to do it on live, but potentially, as we already said, there are lots of different ways we can do it. One other way that we didn't ever try but we were considering was just keeping everyone in the fear realm at all times and only going into the normal realm just to reset your hysteria stacks at some point. There it the is. The issue with the strategy is that if the debuff has just been reapplied, it does take 25 seconds for it to drop We have off, to think of the dumbest strat possible to kill this boss. Raid, which means healers are going to have to go back to the normal realm with you. Okay. However, if you time it before a dark pulse, when no other mechanics are happening whatsoever, then it would probably be safe to do so. The only other issue with the strategy is that tanks are also going to need to reset their stacks at some point, which can be risky with their timing on their mind tether. Right. But by remaining in the fear realm, there are a lot of positives, as you can always instantly swap to the adds, and the boss is going to have a consistent damage increase up on him because of the circles that the tank's going to be soaking. But it's certainly a more risky strategy than using the normal realm strat. But so, anyway, that's the fight. What do we think? Yeah, I it's hard. That's what I think is hard. That's too hard. This is crazy. Like, this is like a, a normal mode boss. It, like, I mean, I've got to... Like, you got to have a PhD to understand this boss. That's too many degrees. That, that, it's insane, man. I think that this yeah, boss, if pulled off correctly, could in theory be the Dude, best boss in this. What about instance, Mythic? What the, the fuck's happening? Dude, don't even talk about that, so man. Yeah. Don't even okay. talk about I, it. I just love okay. it. I like the way that I don't want to think about phases it. These are kind of tutorials, right? So the first phase is like, this is how the boss works. He's got a big dick slamming across the platform. Make sure you're avoiding them. It's like, okay. Then the second okay. phase is just teaching you how the fear realm works in terms of like how you got to deal with those particular sets of mechanics. Okay. And then the third phase is how the delirium realm works, which isn't, you know, that complicated, but at least some DPS get to go in there and plow some damage and start yep. getting used to it. And then phase four is just like, now do it all together <laughs> with some enhanced mechanics. Yeah, it's like fucking mem uh, Memoron. How you want to do that? Well, you just explained to phase four is like all of them at the same time. Them is probably going to be like the meta strat. Something else is going to come out. Mm -hmm. um, so we could do zero and, and at just, the end just and then just burn everything down throughout the fight. And it never feels like oh my god, what's happening? Because you've always just been taught over this steady period of time, which is a really good okay. way of doing it. I, I do like that. This fight, it's pretty yeah insane. i like that a lot in the last phase instead of you having just to damage the boss to get through his dark pulse shield you okay. now need to damage certain ads within certain realms so you have to be sending a fear group down you have to be sending a delirium group down also actually dealing with the boss's mechanics itself at the same time i have okay. no idea this yeah, boss is gonna be crazy absolutely mental this now, is a, a cock man this boss the first of which this is, is a huge cock boss clear how the manifest nightmare pools are supposed to be interacting between realms okay because sometimes you'll be in the delirium realm and you're sitting in the wrong position and you don't know that you are because you can't see anything on the ground but you just die and get sent out early even in the normal realm you could be stood in goo that you can't actually see yeah. but sometimes you can see it and sometimes you'll be stood in the position where that goo would normally be but not be taking damage basically it's it's super buggy right now that thing just didn't seem to be working correctly or it's I, I think this is kind of badass and i feel like look at the guy's name his name is like what is it uh zakul or whatever the fuck uh harbinger of nylotha like that's the black empire man like this shit's actually yeah. gonna happen what it is it's crazy yeah, I, I'm. I'm actually no, getting a little hype for this, man. Not Mick Cool, Zo Cool. Zo Cool, Zuc yeah. Uh, pretty close though. Almost, almost Mick Cool. Uh, okay. Let me go and uh, we'll, we'll see what the rest of their thoughts are. Potential energy bastards. They could be. And if that is the <laughs> case, then that really should only be in a mythic. Yeah, I think I the think fact think that so, that yeah. would be in normal mode as an example is brutal as hell. Yeah, I okay. think that if it is going to interact between realms, make it so it can be seen in all realms. And yeah, that's insane. That difficult thing where you don't so you have the coordinated in voice chat. Yeah, you said. I think that's because the thing that we ended up doing is just Holy leaving all the pools generally man. around the middle of the room. So if you ever wanted to be safe in a realm, you could stand towards the edges, yeah. which also 
made it easier to avoid the tentacles slamming across the room. Also, okay. the dread damage that we did encounter was very, very high, like kind of unfairly high. So it does it like at least from the dungeon journal, which isn't always very accurate. That has been reduced somewhat. Um, so let's just hope that they have put that into effect because although it is the main source of incoming damage and the other sources of damage okay. in the fight don't That's really That's one thing you're surviving with new subs, man. Thank you, so thank maybe you. Maybe make it so the hysteria stacks do more damage, but the dread damage has been reduced. I you know, agree that with that completely because the dread damage was ridiculous. As an example, on Mythic, if you were to dispel all of them at the same time, it just flat out won one shot the raid unless you used like multiple damage reduction it's not really supposed to all be dispelled at the same time though is well, yeah, it? But you're the... supposed to stagger it yeah can we talk about the fact that people are doing 40 and 38,000 dps now and we're not even at the last tier like by the time that we get to the last tier people are going to probably be doing 100,000 dps like we're gonna we're gonna be all the way back to 100k andes again in one fucking expansion what so were people what it's just indicative of how fast the power creep is happening. That That's the point that I'm trying to make. It's insane. Uh, there's like, yeah, three tiers of gear each raid. It's fucking ridiculous, man. Level squish? We'll see what happens. Maybe so, but... Okay, we'll go to the last boss. All right. Queen of Shara. Oh, man. Okay. All right. Oh, God.